Hey, welcome back everybody. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Muse Jester. My name is Junior. Today we're going to be looking into Mattel's Masterverse New Eternia Thunder Punch He-Man. Um, I'm very excited to receive this figure because, as you know, I own the Wando 1-6 scale uh, Deluxe He-Man which allows you to change to three different outfits and one of them being the Thunder Punch. So, Definitely very excited to see this, and I do love my Masterverse line from Mattel uh, for the Masters of the Universe line. But um, I didn't. It wasn't recording. But when I was uh, my first recording, I wanted to mention this face. This face. I am not in love with this face, and I'm looking in it right, looking at it right now. I'm gonna have to look into other reviewers because it seems like my hair is misaligned but I'm not sure if it is um, this really doesn't look good the face I'm also not sold on the face let's go a little bit more closer if we can the hair on my He-Man is slightly askew like um, in comparison the the parting line of this hair which is almost at the middle should be around here um, that's what's causing me off on this thing the the facial features I think the hair being skewed just completely threw me off and it's making me not like this facial feature a lot so um, but it's I don't understand why it's so tightly connected here at the top though I, it's glued pretty well oh my gosh so I'm gonna have to figure out what to do with that anyway it's really distracting me I don't I'm not usually that anal about detail but it just seems to be throwing me off so let's look at the figure um, let's look at how it looks a lot um, I like the fact that this is sitting pretty high I like the design of this gauntlet arm brace thing where it's actually separate from the arm but jointed as well this is the arm is double jointed but obviously it's gonna get hindered by the bracer um, this is separate from the main arm brace so that can rotate and the way it's placed at the bicep does not hinder the bicep articulation this is bulky but not too bulky to the fact that it might drag it backwards If you pull it up it will sit higher on that one but I really prefer it to be a little bit more centered so that I can see more of He-Man's um, upper chest with the neck area I kind of like that better it does have uh, diaphragm articulation a cut at the waist it's got the usual rotation and articulation in the arm and we should be able to remove the arm brace by doing this it's kind of the way it's constructed it seems like you can also remove it by doing this yeah so I really like how they tend to play with the materials that they're using for these things so I removed it just to show that it is double jointed although mine is quite stiff on that lower joint so I might need to heat it up um, let me see if I can force it like it's really in there that's going to be hindered anyway by the articulation of the arm brace and one of the reasons I kept that in there so that I'll know how it's supposed to go in 
so I won't have to remember. So as I was saying, I really like the fact that they're combining different materials in how they construct these things. So see how the softer rubber material allows it to just slip right in without any fear of breaking things apart. That's that new connector for the arm. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll show a comparison with that later. So this arm, this hand, oh look, this hand twists sideways but it has the hinge that will allow the hand to go up and down. Nice, very nice. I can use that for my other He-Mans or can I? Um, this is the what is this the 80th anniversary He-Man. Um, this one already has that hinge, but I wanted to show how different the peg is for these new Masterverse. See, I don't know why they changed that. Whether to prevent uh, us from switching things up or making it beefy so it's a lot less problematic later on of course this is one of the earlier he-mans that I switched out the head with an origins to give it that more barbaric look more comic book look this one shares the same peg as that one and this one's another 88 which I replaced with the cartoon collection head because it's very accurate to the show and I didn't realize it has a dirty nose tip of the nose huh But, um, okay, so this head is closer to the toy. They have the same features with a very strong cheekbone. Obviously, this is different. Strong cheekbone, but closer to the comic book, I think. That's why I like this one. I like the hairstyle on this one, though. It's, um, I like it more than this one. I like the coloring of this one as well. Um, I feel like this feels less puffier than this. This is supposed to evoke this one with better styling, but I, this, this thing is really throwing me off. Again, I like the hair coloring in this one. Um, more simplistic in the design, which I still like better. So we're basically down to these two as comparison. Um, if this hair wasn't so as cute as this one, this probably would look better than this. Ah, let's see. Bringing this out because I feel like that this material that they use in the flaps is much more softer. So that's good because look how much resistance I'm getting on these. This one... Um, even though it's the same sculpt, this is cut so that it allows, you know, when you have, this guy is, I have this guy sitting on battle cap, so this allows it to move, but this one, because the material is so soft, much better, definitely much better. Articulation is the same. Look, it's not even him hindering the articulation of that. Look at how natural that looks compared to this one where you have some resistance or this one. This one actually kind of looks like that. Mm. I think if they were to combine the two, see how they have the split over here? I think if they were to combine the two, we're using the same material in this one and then maintaining the cut. Actually, you know what? This cut, I think I made this cut on my own. Yeah, I, I made this cut. So it moves freely. So I think I'm going to do that with this one. Because it's very flexible already. And But I think by cutting those strands in, it'll make it better. And of course, you have that. I like the coloring of this, this flesh tone over here. You don't really notice that this is the 80th, but you do see some slight muscle definition or washing going on with this thing. 
and they have that here too some shadowing and it just kind of accentuates the, the muscle tone really, again more see how here in the crevices it has that shadowing so that's really cool I like the skin tone on this one definitely a lot better this is the same boot design as it was before but it has again some shadowing going on some washing that's really making it stand a lot better if you look uh, in comparison to the bracer and this one the boots really stand out more than the bracer because the bracer is just bare plastic there's no washing or anything this one has some sort of not just a wash but yeah I think the wash is what makes it just gives it more depth than the bracer same thing with the boot, the, the waist it's just bare plastic um, so a wash would definitely make it look better the this pants these this fur actually has some sort of wash going on with it because it's got some subtle variation in paint so that's kind of cool this one does open look at that this one actually I wonder if you can actually put caps in here and have it work oh no it won't because it doesn't have the the striker so it has a red version and a gold version and you just align it with that and then close it you don't even see it oh look wow oh, it's got that sound to emulate that popping sound that's pretty cool you don't even see it here you didn't even need to do that but it's kind of cool and they have some sort of sculpt going on inside there too so it doesn't really matter if you have the red or the gold because you're not seeing it I just wish you can put them both in because I feel like I'm gonna lose this eventually I'll put the gold in even though I don't see it <laughs> that's pretty cool um, okay, so these these are kind of cool too. So they, you, it has that simulation of the thunder punch. Does it does it matter which one is going which? Or not. It has that cut over there? you kind of have to push it in deep it's funny this one's more snug this one is not I wonder if I'm doing something wrong with this side okay so this one's seems to go more all the way in they're different from each other they have different designs so and as you can see with this one it really kind of snugs it in there and this one is barely in that's why it keeps falling off on me yeah push it in some more there you go now it's completely in look at that just that alone Look at that stance. That looks pretty cool. Just him, have him standing like that. Um, does, the, does the sword go behind here? Oh no, this the shield. I forgot about the shield. So here's the shield. Okay, one disappointing thing about the shield, it seems too small. Look at that, it just seems too small. Oh! You can kind of put one of the caps here. They have that backward.
feel like I have that backwards, but at least this way, it's not just floating. I feel like it should be the other way around, but eh. then put the, sh the sword in here. Oh my gosh, that looks, that's just awesome. Now, I will say that in the picture, uh, the thunder punch is more translucent, more, you know, more clearer than what we're getting. But I think this might be a different material, so it might be more brittle than this one. And then, and then looking at the sword it has a more uh, metallic look than this one. This thing still has some sort of paint going on, but I'm, I've got some blemishes here. I'm usually not uh, not picky about my things with the paint application, but. I don't know, I just did the web store review and it has these minor blemishes too. But it looks good, looks good. Except, you know, the shield seems too small. This mean stance over here, that's so... And then you can plug this into the back of the... This to complete it. Oh, look at that. So you can actually have it off center like that. The only thing is, of course, it extends it way too much. And uh, wait a minute. Oh, and then of course, let me plug this off now. So you can just plug it into this port. Oh, look at that. That's amazing. I think I'm going to have it in the back. But that's a lot of real estate in the back uh, when I have it on display. This guy is definitely gonna stand out um, among my He-Man display. He, this is there's just. I do like the fact that I now have different looks of He-Man on my collection. Um, so I really like this does it come with extra sets of hands containers because I almost threw it out and I didn't realize I still have one more hand in there right final thoughts this is an excellent figure if you weren't for the fact that the hair is really askew is really throwing me off so I'm gonna have to heat it up so I can pull it off because it's really it's really in there here on the side or in the front oh, man they glued it really tightly here too I'm sure that if I were to remove this it's gonna really have glue residue in there it kind of sucks that I'm gonna have to do that because I, I just can't deal with it looks like a wig honestly and a skew wig. So I'm gonna have to fix that. But overall, I, I love this figure. And another win for me for the Masterverse. Um, so that's it for my review. Thank you for watching. I hope you guys check out the next video. Bye.